And he just looked up like this. He goes, delightful. Oh, <laughs> like, what's wrong with C-Boss? <laughs> <laughs> from Bikini Bottom. <laughs> hey! DC. Yo, 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 this is Doped Up and Dying the Sunday Morning Smoke Show. <laughs> if you're right. listening to this, you need to know that Dylan's in Mexico. Oh, Oh, robbing vacation. Mexicans. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Did you, Did you know Dylan was robbing Mexicans? No, I didn't know that. I thought he was on vacation. Yeah, Girl. bro. I support he's, it. He's robbing them for their drugs and mm-hmm. women. You know? Apparently, I already he's really lost doing his some phone. white shit. Yeah, bro. There. I, you know, in Mexico they call that robbing. Now here we call it gentrification. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, he's in Tulum right now. Oh man. Oh yeah. With the shorty. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. Vibing. That means they got at least ten live, laugh, love signs there. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> it's, na- it's nasty in Tulum if you want it to be. That's it's yeah. nasty in Tulum. What you mean? If you what want you mean? It to be. T- Tulum, like. Yeah. It's like, just, what do you mean nasty? Like, like no, nah, it's bitches out there. Bitches. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's huh? a bad, but there's a, there's a lot of baddies in America to, in Tulum right now. Just no, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Working from Mexico. I thought you know, you it's probably a lot of the same bitches you know out in Tulum right now. Like, you go out there, you're going to see a bunch of bitches you know. Let's uh, go. They're right, just always on Instagram. Yeah. That's a fact. Like Miami. Yeah, yeah. I, can, yeah. I can see it being like that, but a little classic. Miami's area. tropical New York. Miami's the sixth borough. Yeah, I like that. Hold on. Let's let's get into Let me finish these motherfucking introductions. I'm over here. Walling out. Check. Mm-hmm. I apologize. Nah, nah, you gotta be checked out here. <laughs> to my right, well, it's the motherfucking prophet himself, <laughs> DC Williams. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kevin. I appreciate you. You having a good appreciate week? You, you having a good week? Yeah, man. We in this bitch. Another man. episode. We're missing some white boy energy, but that's just coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> should we call? Should we call this girl to get him on the pod? Uh, nah, that's already too late for that. It's too late. All right, we should have done it like thirty all right, minutes all right, ago. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, let's go for the gram. Mm. Yeah, don't worry. He's going to turn up soon. And then to my left is one of my favorite people who I've just, I just met, bro. We just That's met each other, but you're one of my favorite people already. I appreciate already. you, bro. And I'm going to get to why. He said that you're, several times, too, by the you're, way. Because you're fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. and, um, and you're just a wild guy to me. Like, when I see you, I'm like, I can't believe this guy just lives the way he lives. You know when your homie meets <coughs> another dude? Appreciate you, know, you bro. He's <laughs> yeah, he just so cool. <laughs> this is my, that's my guy, Andre. And to the right appreciate of him you. is his homeboy. They do comedy together. They've been... Y'all been killing it lately. Mm-hmm. Your shows are selling out. Yes, you about to shoot a special. Yes, sir. You we yeah. about to shoot an R&B music video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My man Darrell over here. Yo, that's yeah. Mr. Steal Your yeah. Girl yeah, right there. Like, yo, I ain't bringing no bitches around you. Right. I am not, not Mr. Steal Your Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Take My Bitch Back. <laughs> Every girl's use every girl's his bitch. <laughs> every girl's his. Like, every girl's you ain't his know that was alone. That's yeah. on you. Yeah. Read the fine print. <laughs> I got a girl, bro. I just, just got to put it out there because she gonna see this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course but yeah. like, I cheat publicly. <laughs> she understands. <laughs> no, she knows. She knows. Wow. No, no, no wait. No, Is it open? Joke. That's a whole joke. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, when I'm playing. <laughs> he wouldn't think he was off camera for that one, right? I was like, whoa, he's but not he having is a seizure. Lunatic. Let me tell you something. Go, uh, so the other day, we had to stand, right? What, what me, I'm walking with DC. Was, it, was that with you? <gasps> yeah. And I'm walking with DC. Hey, who else do you hang out You don't have any friends, bro. It's just hey, me. Yo, first of all, the women that I talk to resent that you say that. <laughs> 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 well, walking to the stand, I see... Uh, I see Andre, I see Dre, and he's chilling. But he's chilling with his wine and he's looking at everybody. You know what I mean? He's chilling with his wine. Only drinking wine. Only drinking wine the whole time. He has his manager with him and he's like looking at waitresses like, another another bottle. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even like everybody. That's what it looks like for third person. I don't even like everybody around me. Oh, Kev here? Oh, I like that one. Oh, oh Kev here? Oh, shit, DC, thank God. Facts. It was getting white in here. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of white people at the stands. So. A lot of white people. There's a lot of white people at the stands. So. Stand, so. I was like, remember we were like, we're going to go outside real quick. He was like, all right, I'm just waiting on oh, some clams. Clams. <laughs> I've never met another comedian. I never even seen anyone order clams there that was a comic, bro. No, me neither. It's always just like guests. Hey, hey. The stand and has a fantastic menu, so. <laughs> they do. They really do it's though. a fantastic and menu. And it wasn't like the second, it wasn't like mid month. 
This was like Darrell brought this up because hey, I just want y'all to know this is the first of the month. That's how much money he got. He paid bills. <laughs> See, now niggas is putting unfair <laughs> targets on niggas, right? <laughs> unfair targets are scams. That's how I feel, right? <laughs> 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 Shit, I'm I'll talk to you after the show, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, those clams weren't on uh, weren't on you anyway. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. That's amazing though. No, yeah. good for you, man. You live in fucking life, bro. You gotta do I that enjoy shit. life, man. Yeah, you got this to. Is dope. You got to. Yeah, but anyway, um, what were we gonna get into? Uh, listen, first of all, don't rush me like this. No, nah, I'm just uh, asking you what you're gonna get into. Hey, what I was gonna get into? There's so many things I want to get into today. <laughs> okay, just pick there's one. so many things I want to get into today. Uh huh. Like, I right, have you guys heard of this new a new way of there's a new way of sending a dick pic that I found out recently. Right, I was talking to this girl, mm. and she was talking about her home girl who was uh. Receive something called damn blanking on the fucking name, a tribute. Do you know what that is? No, no tribute talk. like like he had to pay tribute to the pussy. So he goes, he goes, he goes. <laughs> hey, like some Game of Thrones shit. So I'm, it's almost some it's, it's some maniacal <laughs> shit, bro. I've never heard anything tri- like this. This sounds wild. Tribute just sounds wild in a sexual way. Period. Mm-hmm. So he like DMs this girl. He goes, Hey, do you do tributes? And she was like, I don't even know what that means. And she said, of course I do. Whatever, you know, playing around, right? Homie sends her a picture next to her picture of his dick out, right? And then on another screen is her face with cum all over it. Wait, 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 wait. My bad, my bad. <laughs> How did he get the cum I smoke a face? lot of weed. Huh? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what I said, so, too. Okay. That's what I said when I first heard it. I was like, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do so you say? he just has another screen. It's her face, like her Instagram pictures. Yeah. And then he came on the screen. <laughs> oh, he came on his phone? He came on a phone. Wait, what the wow. fuck? He two phones for that. And he, yes. pay, and he pay her for that? Yes, you do. No. He, he just wanted to do that. And he just sent it to where his dick on the side. Okay, so. Yeah. The only thing, or not the only thing, but the first thing that disturbs me is the fact that this man has a phone dedicated to taking nut shots. <laughs> but that's the thing. We don't even know if it's dedicated. He might just have that one phone and he's busting nuts no, no, on no. his it, phone. No, no, no. It has to it be. Has it has to be, a... to be. Because you can't oh, be busting nuts on that right. phone and then answering calls. <laughs> <laughs> I, Come I, back. Wait, wait, wait. I, what? I uh, like, Googled this Where the fuck did image. you find this? I didn't find this. My ho- my girl, The girl I'm talking to, like they would like she that just happened to her home girl. Wow. Right? That's how I found out. Then guess what? I just want uh, for everybody on the show, I want you to know I called Dylan right away and I was like, yo, bro, have you heard of a tribute? He goes, Yeah, when you come on a girl's picture and oh, you send so her a picture. I'm like, how you know this? <laughs> I see, I knew this. Most was millennial some shit ever. So I wonder what his Twitter feed looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. that's that she looked it up. Could you could you tell I, us what? I looked it up and most of them are on iPads. So he's got the phone uh, taking the picture oh, and then her oh, picture's oh, on, the on the iPad. iPads? Wow. wow. That's reckless, bro. Yeah, wow. yeah. His his cum must have a lot of spread. Yeah. <laughs> it would have did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. did. Yeah. Motherfuckers yeah. are yeah. poor these days. You need days. a bigger like, target. I wish I could. That's crazy. Yeah. That's... Pause. Sorry. I just had to say yeah. Pink dick. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry. I a sure. tribute. A tribute. It's a yeah. lot. That? Would you do that? No. No. What the fuck? What's the wildest thing you sent to a chick? <laughs> it's been a minute for you. Flowers. <laughs> it has been a minute. You still I'll do it. Nah, cause nah, cause before my girl deal with a married woman for like four years. So like we was getting real nasty. You know, married women like Yeah, they, they like the fantasy. Yeah, yeah, like that, like all of that type of shit. Yeah. So like, yeah, nah, she used to, she like wanted me to come for her like from different angles. Oh. I didn't have to come on yeah, anything like, though. Like, you have kind of, to, oh, like send nah, yeah, 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 yeah. She's re- I had a tripod before I started doing com- comedy because of her. Yeah, what? A tripod. tripod. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, so you used, yeah. to, you used to set up a tripod? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, tripod. man. Like, what the fuck? Yo. So I'm a nasty nigga if I like You keep yeah, saying yeah, that, yeah. yo. She get nasty, yeah, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. This nigga's a freak, ain't he? Yeah, yeah, we yeah, grew yeah, up with Nickelodeon yeah. on one channel. You feel, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. Yo, you remember that shit? BT Uncut. Well, yeah, I used to stay up for that shit, bro. BT Uncut? You never heard of this? Never heard of BT Uncut. Music videos, X-rated. Unedited. Oh, yeah, shaking to, ass. It kids. came on Wednesday nights at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. So you had to go to bed at 8 p.m. Because, like, yo, you young. You know you need your rest. Yeah. <laughs> so you go to bed <laughs> early, <laughs> and then you wake up, and then make sure you're... you're I was over here watching amazing, Robin bro. Bird, and you telling me I could have been on BT. Yes, nigga. What, you, what you, was me- you was messing up. You should have been on Boomerang at 2. Yeah. Get the two episodes mm-hmm. of Freakazoid. Go to BT. Yeah. Get the BT on We still got the cartoons in. Yeah, you got us. It was actually a healthy way to grow up. It was balanced. And he's saying... 
he went to bed at eight. I didn't. I used to stay. I used to yeah. say I like to stay up until the, the sky turned blue. You know what I mean? Yeah, so by yeah. the time BT be a fucking marine. Yeah. By, by the time BT on cut came on, I looked like I was just coming off a of coke bin, bro. Yeah. I was just why I'm just like, yeah, fuck it, let's I was in fucking oh, cartoon. I didn't fight and sleep I didn't, with a hard dick. I didn't want to. I didn't want to <laughs> fall asleep by mistake. Watching BET Uncut, like I had to watch the whole hour, so like I made sure I was well rested, committed, yeah, yeah, bright eyed, like it was, mm-hmm. like it was like my first period in school, son. Made sure I was fucking fresh. Yeah, you did it wrong, bro. Yeah, you fucking up. That's why that's you are where you are right now. Hey, you you lack preparation. That's what that's what it shows. I lack preparation. That's what it shows. First of all, Please. I made sure that my mindset was right. I waited the whole day and I stayed up, so my excitement didn't take a dip at all during the day. You feel <laughs> me? So by the time it hit, I never put this thought into my. You didn't have to recharge, yeah, yeah. You know you got to recharge yourself up to because so, you... I'm not masturbating again. No, no, oh, no. I don't need to recharge. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> my bad. Battery. My bad. Oh, you talking about to watch the? Because <laughs> you know you still go through that as a child like that innocence is still there. So yeah, you still go through. Like, my innocence was gone at eleven, bro. Should I be really? watching yeah. this? No, and then where you gonna watch it? But like you still got to go through that for like. The only time I felt wrong was when I was watching nude stuff in other people's rooms. Oh yeah, right? it always felt oh, yeah. wrong. <laughs> like like uh, when I used to so go to Florida every right. summer. <laughs> Florida, Florida, okay. Orlando, Florida, and the, my oldest cousin was never home. Right. So I used to watch like I used to we were watching um, what's that shit where people don't like they die uh for Final Fantasy? What is that shit um. Final Destination. Final Destination. Oh, oh the movie. Shit. Okay, okay. Right? okay. But there was a lot of titties okay, okay. in that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was right? there? Yeah, there was a few titties. Early 2000s stuff. They loved, yeah. they loved the... Mad yeah. titties. It was, it was a big titty. Big I think there was a pussy too. scene. Hot teens uh, getting yeah, murdered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Hollywood yeah, yeah, likes yeah. that shit. And, yeah. I, and I think there was a like pussy that. scene yeah. in that movie. Too. Something hot about it. It's erotic about watching the white girl. I think... I think... I forgot what it's called, but there's some sort of like subconscious desire to see pretty people suffer. In society, like I think, like Look people that have that. Now. Wow, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that actually makes a that's lot of sense. Like but it's good, like it, it sounds like a like a like when you're deep into porn. That's the kind of category. Like, yeah. That's the only thing that gets you off. The way he said it, he, he felt like he got off on that shit. There's something about it. Like, like, no, I think it is. Like, right? like he went there. It's like it's like when white people vandalize certain things. That all the girls that denied me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if, if you had a, someone had a chance to deface the Mona Lisa, they would. You know what I mean? Or some shit they like that. Somebody, she's yeah. not even yeah. that they cute to me. She's, it's not even about. It's just that like you can't touch it. It's a perfect painting of of perfect woman or whatever some it is. Regular. You know, yeah. Let me stop for my. It's like. Why Obvious people rent phantoms and then <laughs> vandalize them? You know what I mean. You rented a phantom or for a music video, then you destroyed it because yeah. you're just like, I want to take this luxurious piece of shit and crush it. You know, what I'm, saying? I'm just gonna say. I don't think that my innocence has been taken. I think I still have my innocence. No, no, mine wasn't taken. Uh, taken sounds about? weird. Hold on, hold on. What, no, no, no. what do you mean? No, he's not talking about being molested, DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not yeah, talking wow, about yeah. a wow. weird exchange with an uncle. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, like, cool. you might have seen something, now your innocence is gone. Like, my innocence is still there to a, to an extent, like, because I still keep my child, like, stuff about me, right? Like, so, what? like, like, if I have a chick coming over and we end up having sex, I'm having sex right next to my Dragon Ball Z figures. You feel no, me? So you, Dragon Ball you don't have. Oh Dragon no, no. Balls. yes, he does. Do you really? Oh, Sorry. oh, you haven't seen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go look at one of my Instagram reels when I'm in my living room. You'll see in the background what? a whole, like a whole thing of Dragon Ball figures. So for me, it's so lovely, like having these the women that I want and conceptualize as a kid, yeah. fucking them yeah. right next to Goku and Nimbus. It's incredible. Yo, it's incredible. Dude, and then I read a comic movie. book. Look at nah, it, it, oh, yeah, nah. their collection they're is very... actually pretty impressive. You guys, are you guys anime fans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You not an anime? I grew up anime. Fan. I didn't grow yeah, one yeah, piece. Nah, I Every, ballsy. Everything, everything I've held on to. All that shit. And you all that nerd shit. Show. People saying the nerds don't get girls or whatever. Uh, that's, that's not true. Right. No, you fuck all the right. bitches now. Yeah, there's a and they love it for my individuality. They're like, wow, you still do this, and I'm like, yeah, I, mean, honest, I can do this because I pay don't bills. Look like the guy that would do it. I don't. I don't. Don't, I don't look fit that like mold. the guy. It looks you don't fit the mold. Don't fit the mold. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. When I have my afro out, I do a little bit, but when, it, when I have my cornrows, definitely not. No, no, you look no, like no, Goldie, bro. You look like, <laughs> you, look like yeah. you only listen to Maxwell, nigga. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> like yeah. only, like a lot, and and you just you only listen to Maxwell. Like you only, yeah, in fact, you were turtle. You were turtlenecks in the winter time. I do. Yes. Yeah, nigga. I know the pro. You look like a girl asking you a question. And you're like, bitch, don't ask me nothing. <laughs> and she's like, okay. <laughs> I, look, I came into work. I came to work. My friend at work, she saw me walking to work. She was like, the way you just crossed the street makes it look like all you do is lie and gaslight. I don't know. <laughs> no, was that Afro? You're like, how did you was know? That, Afro, you that was Afro, man. That was Afro, man. I feel like if... Every time you got the fro on, you with a new girl, you got to be like, do you know about the movement? Do you know about the movement? For real, bro. 
No, I just walk up and be like, you shit. heard what happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> like and just be like, that white devil. Yeah. Like, I just want to see how, how into politics you are. You heard what happened, right? <laughs> just said, I don't know what happened. <laughs> like, if you did coke, it would look cool. Yeah, like, it wouldn't look like I would be because I'd be like, oh, he looks if, like. If hey, you were the hey, first hey, person hey, I saw do hey, coke, hey. I would be doing coke. Yeah, right now. <laughs> that means a lot. That means a yeah, lot. Yeah, one hundred percent. If he was the first person I see, that's, that's how niggas get niggas to do coke right there. Bro. Like <laughs> that. Maybe you was looking up to what DMX say, bro. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah that's, like, that's like it's like you know what. Maybe I should do. That's what my brand is missing. Darrell is doing that. The yeah. Yeah. Fact. <laughs> if he's Rel- doing that, I'm going to be all right. You make this shit look easy. That's true. You make this shit look amazing. You, you, know you got to do, do an album cover doing coke. Like, I know. No, It'll never, be hilarious. Never been done. Bro, never even done. for a comedy album, if your cover, you look like Dolomite or some shit, had magic. You know what I mean? Drive, like, motherfucker, drive. That would be a fire cover for a fucking comedy album. I can't, do, I can't do cocaine. Could, it's not for me. I no, tried no, it twice. No, absolutely, yeah, I yeah. tried it twice, and uh, both times it must have been trash. Both times, because both times I fell asleep immediately after. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, oh, yeah. Shit. I look back and thank God because I'm like, nigga, that could have been anything. You well, know maybe, what I mean? But maybe thank, you have yeah, like ADD wild. or ADHD or some shit. Nah, like bro, nah, nah. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I should have some context. Snorted a roofie. There was no Vaseline. There was no missing brooms or nothing like that. Missing brooms. <laughs> the first time was extremely sus. It was my first time in Miami, and we got it in a rolled up dollar bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it, knocked out. The second time was from a friend's friend, and I was already half asleep. She had got it while I was sleeping and woke me up to do it, and I just fell back to sleep. So women always get you to do drugs, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. very true. It's always they bad. say weed is the gateway drug. No, it's it, white women. It's, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yo, facts, no, I'm right. Facts. Yo, facts. Yo, I'm right, though. Facts. I don't, my first introduction I, to weed, white woman. That's yeah. a fact. Really? Yeah, yeah, white girl, white girl. Okay, girl. Okay. I'm Jamaican. Yeah. She gave you some some weed that she yeah. bought at an overpriced even, rate. Even, no, nah, I'm talking about me smoking it. Like I, I'm Jamaican as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's always been, but like I was, my mom was so against it, which I read my mom. My was mom was too, but her brother's so weed. Bro, my yeah, that, yeah, yeah. we yeah, must yeah. live the same fucking yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 My yeah. uncle's yeah. a career yeah. drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? Adults are nothing but hypocrisy. Yeah, exactly. So it's like I was so against it, and then. This white girl was like, yo, she just seemed so happy. And like, I knew I was going to have sex with her. If I capitulate, if I capitulated to her will. Thank God she wasn't into coke. Yeah. I'd have tried it. I was really into that white girl. Yeah. <laughs> there's a like lot that, of man. shit I would have tried mm-hmm. for a certain girl. If, if a couple, there's, there's been a few chicks that I was like, damn, if I would have just did her drugs. Because I don't do coke. <laughs> I don't Me do either. Coke. Yeah. I've yeah, never I'm tried a, it. I'm, a weed I'm scared guy. to try. I feel like I'm going to like it. Me too. I think I would like it too. Coke you'd really be surprised yeah, yeah, yeah. how much you don't really like it and how oh. much you kind of fleshlight. Is that well, what you're saying? Coming into the studio. Oh, like Token. Coming into the studio <laughs> from the great white north. It's hilarious. Oh, can I? Nah, man, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> There's a melanin toke. requirement. We got the great JJ Lieberman, said. baby. What up, yeah, man? Lieberman. Oh, shit, what you're too tall, man. <laughs> nah, this is Dope Don't Be Dying, the Sunday morning smoke they show. They all got a squish in. Oh, what's up? Oh, yeah. You guys got to squish together, in. unfortunately. A little, no, no, no. Like, no, no, you guys are good. Oh, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, beautiful. Come on in, man. Scoot a little this way, boss. Oh, sorry. What kind of ambush this is? You told me, like you said, come in at five, and you guys are already midway conversation. I don't know nobody. Hey. Yeah. Hey. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. I, I like, I like it. Yeah, you know, and I didn't really get an introduction either. So yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Now yeah, I'm just playing on that. I just realized I, I, I just know, I know you guys very little. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I do. It's true. Yeah, it's, it's, what true. It is. it's true. So it's introduce true. them. It's it's okay, that's okay. First of all, <laughs> I already introduced these two to the him. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm about to. Oh, that's right. I'm introduce you. Hey guys, this is the great JJ Lieberman. Yeah, what's up? JJ, nice to meet you, brother. This is Darrell. JJ, can you scoot nice to the right a little bit more? Yeah, I can Thank scoot. You. That's good. Are we good? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Comics. You guys, comics. Yeah. Yes. Oh, sick. Cool. Yeah. I didn't know who the Andre fuck Myron. anyone is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, yeah. what are we doing? I'm so like, sorry, Jay. This is Darrell, the yeah. janitor. This is Andre. Our, I genuinely mean that. Pipes guy. Know, <laughs> 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 you like interviewing regular people off the street? Well, too. I don't know. No, not regular. I mean, I, I, I assume some kind of artist, but I don't know what kind. Yeah, that's like, true. Could have been yeah, you know? Yeah. Well, no, I didn't mean. I, don't. <laughs> Right I said artists. I don't know oh, murals and shit like that. I don't know like, bad enough. Was, no, no, I'm no. the only white guy here. He like, is oh, he is like, the problem. So we wanted to, we wanted to question you. Yeah, that's all right. No, 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 no. JJ Lieber is cool as fuck. He's the wildest comedian I've ever seen in my life. Really? Kind of, especially today. Really? Especially right now. 
Like JJ Lee, he don't, he don't take no, there's no mercy with this mother. But I don't claim I like that, that either. I'm not one of those guys who's like, I take no prisoners. Yeah, I, I fucking hate that. Yeah, like, yeah, where yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something that should be said about you. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. You see those old school guys, they're like, what? Edge Lord. Edge. Yeah, yeah, edge Lord. But it's, it's worse. It's <laughs> yeah. like, what? Am I too fucking, you know, like yeah, that? Yeah. Am I too brash for you guys? And yeah. you're at the back going, ugh, I no, hope that's not me. Oh, yeah, because then I'm the 40 year old now in the club. Clubs, yeah, and, and it's a 25 year old crowd. Like the crowds have gotten younger. How is yeah, that? It's really true. Um, I don't know. How's it for you? <laughs> I, I, I find it's actually fine, man. Yeah. I, I don't think. I think um, as because I'm I'm 10 years in now, but two okay. years because of COVID. But the, I moved here six months ago, and within the first few months, I was performing a lot at that one club in Times Square. Mm-hmm. LOL. LOL. Mm-hmm. And it made me. Like, I heard so many horror stories of it. It made me the best comic I could be right now. Dope, dope. Yeah. Because you have to fight tooth and nail. Right? Oh, yeah. every day. Mm-hmm. And then and then come... Also, too, what I want to talk about... So I, w- I was doing, like, 10 sets a week, but I was walking 20 people a week. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> so they stopped right. booking me. So now when I book get booked there, it's not that I want to do my act. It's what I want to do surrounded by... You know, you have, like, a core part of your yeah, act. Right. That you always go back to, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. which I know when I do like a club club where it's like a very comedy educated audience, I know I can bring that out. And that's, I guess, what you've seen. But when I'm doing LOL and it's tourists, let's do uh, social commentary that's maybe that they might not get offended by, but kind of. I mean, you, you got to read the room. Yeah. You got to read the room. Yeah. You know? JJ, rooms are quite different. We energy. started this pod talking about. Um, people, what the fuck is it called again? Tribute. Trib- oh, tribute. Shit. Paying tribute. Yeah. Paying tribute. Have you heard of this? That's a medieval. Uh, Have you heard tribute? of paying a tribute to a person? I just paid a vet today because my dog tore his ACL, so. No. <laughs> no. Oh, that yeah, sucks. Wait, your dog? Oldie and Christ. Oldie? Yeah. yeah you dog 13. an athlete or what? Yeah, that's punchline. As as he's like, uh, as 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 I'm giving them my bank card and I have no money left, it's like five hundred dollars. I'm like, yo, I got a new bit. (laughs) (laughs) Get sick again, motherfucker! You're like, like, someone just was was doing that same shit where he goes, somebody died. He goes, nah, I got five more minutes. Oh fuck! Jesus Christ! (laughs) Oh, that's how you don't think like that, though. Of course, you don't think. Think every situation, you're like, yeah, oh, it's kind of like, like, you're right almost here. like a creep. Like when I'm arguing, when I'm arguing with my it. girl, you when I'm arguing it. with my girl, I'm like, oh, bitch, you don't know what you're doing right now. Bitch. <laughs> you're <laughs> you're set on fuel, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to talk that shit? Talk so, that shit. Look, Keep coming. Last Keep night, coming. I went out with an 18 year old who told me she was 17. New bit. <gasps> no, no. <laughs> No, no, JJ. Yeah. No, no that's it. You guys are. <laughs> no, no, she's nineteen. That she but, uh, but your face. You in my I'll, you in my I'll, tell, I'll tell you, your face actually made me sweat for a second. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. no, no. I like, said, you got me next to this nigga. Yo, y'all both trying. They did the right thing y'all, though. Y'all, y'all did the right this thing. Though. Everyone on the internet, they didn't even laugh. I'm over here laughing. Y'all went straight book These are like too comfortable with pedophilia. My thing. Was, I saw way too comfortable pedophilia. You date, you date an 18 year old, you can't look at no throwback pictures. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do? Unless it's what you're into. Hey, yo, hold on. Hey, look right. at well, this throwback. Like, like, what's going on there? Some into. weird hat just happened. Hold, hold on. on. How did I do that? Yes, oh, there we go. There we go. We good? We good? We good? We good? Actually, take real that part. When did we uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pro pedophilia. I think doped up right there. You see what just happened? It just shut off. I think that was a sign from God right there. Yeah. Pedophilia. Did really? Pedophilia is funny. Let's forget. Uh, let's not say let's that. Let's forget he nah, said he nah, didn't. Mark that, please. You <laughs> can bleep it out. <laughs> no, but it's not funny. Redaction. It, 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 everything is funny if it's done well. Yes. yes. I agree. And, agree. and that's, this is a comedy podcast, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So my my interpretation of it, everything's on limits. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%. 100%. No, 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 no. Tribute. No. If we judge well, you, we'll judge you, yeah. but we talk the same shit. It's pure. I mean, you're wearing a flesh. I didn't even realize you were wearing a flesh. I said it as soon as he went to the I thought it said fresh and fit. That shit said fleshlight. So you got like the setting powder and all of that shit, right? Hey, you fuck flashlights? I, I've made content for them. Okay, but what? You're... What does yeah, that yeah. mean? Can, wait, wait. Yeah. Can I say something? I yes, make comedy please. content. My oh, I thought you meant my first experience with a flashlight. Oh. I never used a flashlight, right? Me but I had, a, but I had an experience with one. 
my roommate in college, I was the only freshman in the senior dorm, right? I was on a wait list. They put me into any random one. It was the senior dorm. I was lit, right? Cool, cool, cool. What they didn't tell me was that I was roomed with the crazy nigga in the dorm, right? Yeah. He had every mental disability you could possibly mm-hmm. have, but but still be coherent enough to be in society, right? Wow. But like crazy. Well, I'm telling you, like, remember when I said I had my Dragon Ball Z figures and everything like that? Mm-hmm. He had that, but instead of figures, it was it was pill bottles. Right, it was it was a whole collection of them shit. Yeah. He had this fascination with like sex and BDSM and all of this oh, shit, God. right? Yeah. So he would have like these bondage chains and all of that shit, and my friends would make jokes about how he was gonna like come at me in the middle of the night and all of this. He had a <laughs> flashlight, and he would put the flashlight on the uh, on the windowsill after he would use it, <laughs> right? And I didn't even know you can like take it apart mm-hmm. and all yeah, that. So yeah, you can clean, clean it out. Like yeah, there's yeah. a casing. Yeah. You take it out. It takes up like the lips and the vaginal canal. And he has something called setting powder, which I guess keeps it fresh. Oh or whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, uh, dishwasher friendly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So he would have wow. a mountain of that piled on his flashlight. So when I leave, uh, uh, when I come home after doing my seven to four schedule in college, I got a big mountain of setting powder and a used flashlight waiting on my windowsill. DC looks there's stressed one window. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So nice I had to life, talk to him. I'm like, I'm like, yo, bro, you know, I could have brought my mother in here. Like, what you doing, bro? <laughs> I was like, yo, bro, we can't do this. Yeah. Well, like, welcome this to the world of white people. Yeah, yeah. Yo, white, he was white, white people. Did I need to say it? Uh, I did didn't I need know. to I say it? You said he had that. mental disabilities and shit. Brother, hold on, hold on. I've been around a lot of crazy brothers. Ain't none of them do that. I'm gonna be real with you. Bottles of pills, flashlight. They white, don't white yeah, bondage. Yeah, yeah. That's nah, true. Facts. If white I ever boy. see when, when I do see like oh, you ever see like a black dude walking outside with a sword? <laughs> every dude. time I see a black dude with a sword, I'm like, that's a crazy. He runs nigga. like Naruto. That's true. That's this every is, time I see that, in like, spite of all of that, I knew the nigga was crazy. Not because of that, but I asked him. He went to the to get these uh, ex- exclusive type of German chocolates somewhere in the city, right? And I asked him. I was like, Yo, you went to get those really chocolates? Good. How was it? And he just looked up like this. He goes. Delightful. I was like, oh, nah, nah. Oh, nah, 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 nah. They nah. would stab you in your sleep, yeah, bro. Yeah, something yeah. demonic about you. Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. I'm going to ask Lieberman a question. Nobody normally uses tributes. delightful. Yeah, that's Pay why. Is, <laughs> yeah, we can't do the crosswalk, guys. You guys got to fucking... My bad, bro. Pay tribute. Uh, Pay tribute, but also, you dating a 19-year-old? No, like, no so it was a date. It was just a date? Uh, How did you do it, though? Like, so in terms of, like, up. it's hard to... <laughs> Simple. I love this man. It's simple. No, it's so simple. But you did, was the date annoying? No. no? Um, I yeah, love. I, I love um, philosophy, and she was really into philosophy. You want to know what's funny about philosophers? A lot of them fucked fifteen-year-olds. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> Aristotle, Kant, is well delivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Socrates, Socrates, yeah. yep. all of them, yeah. all Socrates, these wise motherfuckers. And then does the pedophile smile like yeah. you can't yeah, that. Socrates okay. likes a nice twelve year old. Somebody's boy. been to college. <laughs> oh. No, but that's not. That's not my. I actually not my thing. But when. Um, I met her uh, very mature. Like, I, I actually thought she was in, like, her 20s. And it makes you respect that. I, I get yeah. That. yeah. I get that. Um, but the thing was, the whole conversation was, like, first of all, I'm 41. Yeah. So. I mean, you have 20 years of life experience. On yeah. That. I'm not there yet, so I love hearing about this. So my thing was this. One, and we have to have this conversation um, with her and with everyone else right now. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I don't want, like I said this literally, and I'm like, this might ruin the mood, but I don't want you to be in a, a predicament where you think I'm taking advantage of you. And I know this is not sexy to say, but we have to, you know, like we have to actually read the terms and agreements right now. Yeah, 100%. Right? right? Yeah, yeah. Nobody reads terms and agreements. Okay. This has to be read and signed <laughs> because uh, at your age, one, I actually do, I'm at a point... Uh, And the one thing that has inspired my comedy is philosophy coming from a guy. So I don't know if paid in tributes to a certain person. No, so this is what paying tribute is, by the way. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him, tell him, tell him. him. (laughs) So guys are going, asking girls, do you take tribute, right? And the girl was like, out of thinking, not knowing what it is, go yes. And what it is, is they would take an iPad and go to her Instagram, pull up one of her best pictures, masturbate on it, uh, come all over that picture. Take a picture of the her the cum her his dick bah and send it to her and that's called I I don't I don't uh, need to like I I was on I was on a podcast here earlier and I was like 
I was one of the hosts wants to see my dick, and I said I'll show show your dick, and then the female comment, she's like, let me see it, please, and I'm like, okay. Well, I don't know. If she, she didn't say please, did she? <laughs> she just was. It was like everyone else is looking at it. I yeah, might so, as well. Yeah, yeah, she didn't say please, but then as I showed it to her, she went no. <laughs> so I was like, oh, was so it scary. I don't know. Maybe for her. Okay, she for, wasn't ready. For lesbian? Why did the question no, she's, of wanting to see your dick come up? Just it just. Uh, it's, uh, long story. Oh, long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's that, uh, let me tell you something. You look like I got read the room. Piercing? Not for the touché. podcast. Yeah. Touche. 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 Yeah. Touche. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. we just said yeah. don't do a dot. Yeah, Sunday yeah. morning smoke show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah go go listen Leave to my guys if that's something that if seeing people see dick pics is something uh, that interests you. That was the first time though on on by guys. You think? Uh, we certainly looked at think at dicks before, but not yeah of someone at. The Can time. I ask something? Why? 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 I feel like every time I'm in a conversation with two or more white people, the, Gets the into topic cocks. of somebody's dick always comes, comes up. up. Why it's, the fuck? A, That's all. And I've been going to, ca I, I've been in Catholic school, pre-K to third and sixth to eighth and lived on Staten Island. White so I'm vetted dicks, in caucasity to know love dicks, bro. that <laughs> this is a <laughs> real thing. That, yeah, yeah. So why yeah. guys love dicks, bro? Like you guys love talking about dicks. <laughs> like, like, yeah. yeah. Like, well, my act's very, my act's very, Cox is the word. Deviant like, like sexual act okay like so to me it's the norm okay so right, I, right. I i i don't care about that shit um but yeah but I, what's the inception of that culture is my is my question i think they're mad greeks. Free. they're mad free greeks i think it's for freedom bro. Greeks did start, yeah yeah, yeah Gre it's true greeks had their cocks out all the time and they were they uh statues with like david and they would put i heard they boys. were lying about their dicks though I heard it like they thought it was uh, if you had a smaller dick, it meant you were more smarter. intelligent. You were yeah. smarter, yeah. and that and such that's... a brilliant thing from a small dick dude. <laughs> 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 if, you're, if I got a small dick, then that's what's up. This that's is what, what sets it up. I never yeah. understood <laughs> how Africans always had the reputation of being uh, naked and all of this shit when they, the people who we base our legal system off of were fucking naked all the time. But that's probably why, because they probably looked at like the Greeks would with. I, I think it would probably they would look at the lighter skinned Greeks people. Whoever was like darker skin would mm -hmm. have bigger penises on average. Uh, I guess it was safe to say, and they would be so jealous that they would say, you know, it's like the penis envy. It's like the yeah, weed law. You know, the weed weed law is based off a racist law. You yep. know that. Yes, right? I do. So same kind of thing, right? And this proves you, you my point. You looked at his afro and you couldn't tell that he knew the laws. <laughs> no, some people don't realize <laughs> no, it's a racist, and it's still yeah. like there's still people locked up. I think based off of a racist uh, law. Yeah, I mean that's why that's why everybody's fact, like they're like you care about Britney Griner. Yeah, like, a lot of people like you care about Britney Griner, but you don't care about the people. Uh, Thousands of people in yeah. jail right now. Yeah, and that's a common trope right now. Same Logan thing with like it. Biden and Hillary. Like literally, these uh, these guys and they voted for people to go to jail from that are in jail, jail and then bro, you're gonna you you're gonna go on your moral don't supremacy and moral niggas. high ground and say, <laughs> oh, the rights, but but what your 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 people are doing the same thing, man. Mm -hmm. You're fucking criminals and crooks, and people are serving. Destroyed Haiti. How about this? Yeah, yeah. for a, smoking a joint. Mm -hmm. I had a white girl slide in my DMs one time. Hey, this is this is when uh, Roe v. Wade. Uh, was, was overturned, right? Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 what she say? She, she like, said, "Can uh, I abort your quarter? black child?" No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she'd want to keep it. She'd want to keep that shit and just keep it from her father too. But she was like, "Darrell, you have a platform." There's so many people that follow you and so many people that listen to yeah. your voice. Roe v. Wade got overturned. Are you not angry? How did you not tell anybody? How are you not speaking about this? What? Where is your outrage? What? She, she, she really said that for real? Dude, she's white, she, bro. She slid in your DMs. That's what they do, bro. And she really? was like, what are you doing yeah, about women, this? Bro. I'll, after the pod, There's I'll show you the victims, DMs. But they're not. I said, not a white woman telling me what to be mad at. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> My comments on Roe v. Wade are in the same place where your comments were on George Floyd. She probably was leading one of the marches. <laughs> no, she wasn't. Yes, no, she, she wasn't. Girls, not white no, girls see, white, white girls be active right now. Her advocacy for, for black rights active. goes as far as her man's dick. And that's okay. it. You know what I mean? Did so you smash, like, Yeah, you know what I mean? So it's just like the hypocrisy. But did you no, smash? I think, I think most people are... Um, that, And that's why I love what we do. I think that makes our... You know, it makes our art or whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it brilliant because... It, Again, I, I thought paying tribute was like to who I pay in tribute my comedy, and I was no. going to say Patrice, and that's why I read Same. because yeah. Patrice was a big reader. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite comedian. Yeah, so. my favorite. I, I think mm -hmm. honestly, if mm -hmm. you if you look at like, 
you know when they say pound for pound for pound fighters i would say pound for pound pound for pound comics he's the greatest he's ever. greatest greatest yeah. ever oh at least up he's, there. My, he's my number one he's up there because like i live in the room i look at that special like maybe once twice a year yeah just to watch it and every time i pick something up that he's doing i'm like for the first time it just hit me it's yeah. like yo it felt like he was making everything up on the spot and we all know he didn't we know this is comedians that he fucking toured that hour for at least a year and a half. Probably and longer. Probably that longer hour. at that the time. Hour, yeah. Right? And motherfucking, and just, it made it so, it was so fucking natural, dude. Yep. Well, Mr. He, P was amazing too, and that was off a shorter uh, time frame. Yeah, that was right after yeah. Elephant in the Room. You, right know, you know what I love about Patrice O'Neill? Like, I, I, I can appreciate his comedy so much more now that I'm an adult. Mm -hmm. Right, and now that I've had experiences with women and experienced life mm -hmm. and everything, he, in my mind, is the quintessential representation of the male subconscious. Mm -hmm. He is the representation the of, the of the things. No, 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 no. He is like everything you want to say to your girl, and you're about to say it, and then you realize you don't want the drama. Mm -hmm. That's him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's how we. I, I, I think it's more so. I think it's more so. It's just how honest he is in his observations. Yeah. It's his observations are so honest and they're just so even as even as fucking offensive as you want to as you want to feel about him. It's only offensive because it's so true you have to actually feel about. Yeah, him. yeah, it was a, he, he does that in a way I feel no other comic ever did. No one yeah. ever did. Even like a uh, prior me like but then you look at the other guys who I'm influenced by like Hicks for example and Hicks actually uh is not an influence until pretty recently just because of the idea of the walking the rooms. And I've always loved them, but I mean, just really hearing other people talk about them. But CK is very similar to that Ooh, too. CK, CK and Patrice are, have that very similar style where. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that's the style. It's like I'm gonna say what I have to say. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I aspire, and I I wish uh, I wish I wasn't so dirty. We were taught. Me and Ian were talking about this this morning. You and who? Yeah, finance. No, what did you just say? Me and Ian were talking I, I about thought, that. I thought he said me and Ian were. God damn it. No. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm Afro got me on 10. This <laughs> Afro got me on 10. <laughs> <laughs> you want to win that on me again, for brother? For the record, I heard Ian. No. Yeah. I heard Ian. <laughs> for the record, I said Ian. I said, no, I, I didn't hear him right, but I need Never to hear what he Ian. said. Go um, no, um... And that's another thing I, I I would talk about with you guys. I don't know what kind of timeline you have, but I'm from Toronto, Canada, where race relations seems so much different so than what it does exactly. here, and it's crazy to me. I who, think who are Canadians racists against? I no, I just Muslims. I think there is racism, but this is like this 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 is like the forefront of converse. This is probably the biggest issue yeah. in America. It's not a hot topic over there. In, uh, no, but like it racism, be, there was... is a divide, which I, when I went to college here years ago and I went to, I played baseball in college and I had all, only Dominican roommates. So I live with just Dominican dudes. And then I can hear the accent now. I can hear the accent and, now. And then, and then when I was in uh, certain towns, like I, I went to a college in Wine Mills, Maryland, and we live in Denton, Maryland. And we lived in the, um, the black area. Yeah, yeah. There were no white people except me and some chick who was fucking a black dude. Like, seriously. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm being, yeah. like, totally right, honest. Yeah. <laughs> she ain't gonna go six miles for some dick. <laughs> that, to me, was crazy. Really? And it wasn't... So, but that wasn't, like, the mainstream. But now the mainstream feels like it's... There's, like, such an... Unco like, even as I talk about it, it's like, oh, it could, you know, you don't want to say the wrong thing. just staring at you. Like, yeah. what, you, what, 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 nigga? Yo, no, what's but up, there JJ? Is, but, there, but, there is, but there is a legitimate thing. Yeah. If I, I, don't, I don't have opinion. I was talking to Miles Toe about this. I actually don't. That's oh, one that's thing. That's hilarious of all people to talk no, about. No, because, that. Yeah. but I don't, have a, I don't have an opinion on race relations yeah. yet. And I, I wish I could be a good enough comic to have an observation. But I also think like... If you're gonna do it, you one have to do it in an all black room. Like that's my law of like, it, uh, you know, for like white comics that drop the M bomb, mm -hmm. you better do it in an all black room first. And if it works, then I think. But you can't be doing. But you can't be doing it to your crowd. And they'd be like, I'm gonna bring this to the niggas. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna go back and say this: anything can be said if it's done well. Well, you know, how but yeah, but you can't you can't just do it to an all white eye or a mixed no, 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 I agree because that's like a that rally. There's a, there's a famous story with Louis where uh, he was doing his black room and then he he was nervous as fuck, right? Like he was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna bomb." And then he, he went up there and he just dropped the end bomb right away, like immediately, no, really? within like a, within a minute. 
Right? My God. I saw a white comic do it at an all black yeah. show in Toronto. And then murder, though. I see. I couldn't believe now, that's it. Annoying. And it murdered. I think, because uh, uh-huh. I'm a comedian. He murdered? Uh, the N word murdered. No, right. the bit uh, that the he bit was murdered. doing, okay. and he, but he, the N word was the punchline. Oh, that's oh crazy. Was really? I was yeah. sitting at the back. The bit Not, had to be fucking ironclad. Ooh, yeah. was it? Yeah. Ever. My <laughs> thing had to be ironclad. Yep. Everything. I don't think it would work today, though. I believe. Yeah, no, and that's in yeah. white, white years. people wouldn't it's a laugh. Challenge. I it. Oh yeah, you I should. Believe. If you're gonna use that thing, like this is me personally, Darrell, right? Like, I feel like if you want to be a white dude and say the N word, right? You have like like Andre said, it has to be ironclad. Because in my mind, the way I think about it is, I need to be laughing so funny, so much that I forget that I want to beat your ass. Mm, I, get you. I actually don't that. even you. think it's uh, now someone who believes everything's on the table, and I truly do believe yeah. everything's on the Same. table. I don't also think it's worth it. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say if I feel like if you could be hilarious white comic without it, then you don't need to say. That. Yeah, I don't. You know, I, there's dude, a lot of them who are. It's, so you, it's, you, it's just understanding. I think I think why you're being a honest, being a comic and using that word, you'd have to be honest about the reason why you're using yeah. that word. I don't think there's many. Huh? Closer. There's no, there's not, there's not many comics, not many white comics who can find a justifiable reason. What is the reason to use the word? Because to be edgy. That's why. Exactly. What a lot of Unless you're gonna just try and do it for shock value. Yeah. If you're doing it to truly, actually have an understanding or basis of why that word mm-hmm. makes people react the way it does, you can come with a joke that's yeah. great. That's that that. If you're telling a story where great. someone said I just the think N word, I think that's I mean? so that's... difficult for. Um, white comics to do, and I think most white comics. I'm struggling deep down, to do it now. Yeah, like when I say the N word on stage, I can feel everyone. Oh, back. for yeah, right. And it's because, and then, and then I didn't know this until some another comedian or somebody a Facebook post or some Twitter post where it was mm-hmm. like some white, some uh, black dude was from Texas or some mm-hmm. shit. What's your ethnicity? I'm Dominican. Okay, but I, you know, I grew up in Harlem. Right. So he was like, I didn't know that New York Spanish people could say the N word. Mm. Oh, this was recently this was somewhere. Recent. Yeah. Yes, yeah. there's a and, huge situation. I didn't know that they didn't know that, yeah, that we not, say it. Yeah. Right? This is a Culturally, bubble. that's how this we grew a, up. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know that because... We this just grow up, bro. black people and Spanish people yeah. say the N word. That's just literally how you. That's grow how up. Was, my I Dominican was, yeah. roommates would call me it all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Call like call me it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're all, I got, I got, I got white boys. I call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was good. My name. But like, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. My like stepfather that. from Texas, he came out here and he was out here for a couple of years. This is like year eight. He told me he was like Darrell. Something I realized in New York is that this is a bubble and no place operates like New York. Nothing. That's a fucking most unique. And he's like the people out here. They think that the rest of the world is like this. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's not. Oh, I feel mad. Like I know this is a cliche. <laughs> I know this is such a cliche, but I feel super rude other places. Yeah. Like people say hello and goodbye to each and other. You look, I'll just and leave. You, and you look at them like, no, you, you shouldn't. Yeah. Like, yeah. So here's in my other only... places. They have guns, so you have to be nice. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, true. True. that's why that. That's, that's where that said. southern has. I be getting ready to skip a line. This eight gauge. This eight gauge gave me a good morning. You know what's interesting? When I was in Texas, though, I never felt more free. Yeah, I was in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in Atlanta America. all the time. So, that yes. is America. That's just that. America. To, to, to play devil's advocate, America. here's my only problem, though. This is the only, We do now live, and this is the whole thing with the whole race relations and everything. We now live in America, in comedy or whatever, where there is in the, like, because, again, the most amazing moment for me in someone explaining comedy was Patrice with the... Um, uh, that Spanish the news, chick, the news, uh, yeah, yeah, on yeah, Fox yeah. News, right, 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 and he was laughing at it, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that to me is the greatest clip of breaking down why com, like he's like it all comes from the same place. Yep. So yes. my whole point is that we have, it, he says, it's either all on the table or all off the table, and and I and I go to these like people in Toronto, for example, and I don't mean to be cliche by saying these like woke white chicks, but there are comedy rooms in Toronto that are considered safe rooms. No rape jokes, no jokes about homophobic, no jokes about race and stuff like that. And I actually do think act. that's a problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's a problem. No, it's the, what are they talking about? It's the culture of clapter, not yeah, the culture yeah. of laughter. Clap comedy. Yeah, Clap yeah, yeah, comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I think that's a big oh, problem. So if, and, and I want to tell these ladies who say, oh, because I, I was labeled a, mas- a misogynist, rightfully so. Like, I love, mis- like, again, Patrice <laughs> comedy i love that kind of humor Same. 
But then you're going to say you can't do this. And you're saying we have a serious problem right here. I'm like, well, then do your com comedy in communist China and see how really they respect yes. your opinions. So that's the only. You be, like, in, a, you be in those camps with Muslims. That's what happens, right? When you yeah. speak out of China, the CCP, no, hey, but you, yeah, I believe well, in you, CCP. You disappear for a week, you, you get your ass beat, and then you, if you and don't you stop, stop you talking. disappear. But again, look at the Britney yeah. Griner thing. You, th you think we live in this society where it's so bad, you can't fucking smoke weed over yeah. there. But I tell people where people... Speaking mean, of Mike, speaking of Mike. I tell people all the time, like, when you look at that Britney Griner situation, like, this is going to sound wild as shit, but it's like, you should have known to not have weed in Russia. No, nah, yeah. no, no, no. That's I, a that's a, a agree, thing Coco Diaz says. Joey I, Diaz I, I says that. I don't think that justifies what happened. Yeah, but that, yeah, no, it doesn't yeah, justify. Yeah. It doesn't what justify happened. the nine yeah. years. It doesn't justify. It doesn't the, justify the nine years. But again, and they say it's they've been it's if if it was one of us, she wouldn't give a shit because you would know, yo, you shouldn't have had weed in Russia, dude. Like it's the fact. Like I, I the like no personal one, accountability is something we don't do anymore. But a lot of people, I'm sure, sneak weed to places like Dubai and Russia. But she just got caught. She just happened to get caught, and that's on her. People yeah, that and hold on, that's. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something about Dubai. Hold on, hold on. Who get by? No, let me yeah. tell you about Dubai. Dubai, no. Wiz Khalifa don't even bring weed to Dubai. All right? Yeah, because he got his. I think he got arrested of what he went through. Hundred percent. And we don't have Trump. Trump. Okay, okay. So my point. Okay. That's my yeah. point. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. if you're gonna <laughs> arrest Wiz Khalifa, <laughs> 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 he's not gonna take it out and hold that black. No, no, no. Tell me that that was the most gangster shit I ever seen a president do was to exonerate a rapper. I was in a million years. I don't. Obama didn't even do that. No. Nah. Oh no. oh no! Obama didn't Not even do that. The only person Obama, Obama would have let out is John, John Legend. Legend. That's it. John, <laughs> John, I think Obama One day. did. Obama did exonerate Jay Z though. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you mean, Jay Z uh, wasn't in jail? No, um, like he um. He had a charge or something on his record? No, like, yeah, so something they do is pass, it's like absolved, oh. I guess. Isn't it 1990? Yeah. So I, I, was, I, was, I used to be in, really into hip hop in the late 90s, like yeah. during yeah. the golden era. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I remember a story. Didn't Jay Z stab someone? He stabbed, stabbed on Rivera. Rivera. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Allegedly, 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 in ninety nine, allegedly. allegedly, right? Like in ninety nine or ninety eight. He said he stabbed on. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So I think that's you know that's something. Yo, can we get into the sniffing video? Oh, I don't even know if, if we there's a butt sniffer on the loop. Yo, yeah, Nat, can Yo, you type in the, you guys seen the butt sniffer about shit? There's I a butt that. sniffer on the loop. This guy's he got hey, a camera look, in the grocery store. How about store, this? How about this? Just Nat, sniffing ass. Nat, you looked that up, and while you looked that up, please put up some plug music. I didn't even know what, what the podcast is about. Like I didn't know what this was going We don't either really, know. Round what it's table about. fuckery. That's all it is? That's all it is. And just get high? Oh, you can if you want, you can drink. I got shows tonight. I can't. Do you smoke? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I like to get, but when I get high, I like to get high and then no, I'm no, fuck and relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, or yeah. fuck. Yeah. I like so, all right, so can I say something about that? Uh, cause I was just gonna have a conversation about getting high and fucking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold that thought. Do I, I hear the plug music? I will. Let's Is that the plug music? No, I held off because it seems like I want to hear a story. Okay. Um, I. I love smoking before uh, sex. It's really mm -hmm. cool. I don't. Okay. Um, but don't? I don't love yeah, it yeah. when the girl smokes before sex. Yeah, because they mouth. get tired. No, no, no. Oh. Cotton pussy. Cotton. Oh, yeah, that really? dries them out. Very, it's a, it's dries a them very out. real thing. It doesn't matter how good the pussy is. I, the weed, it it, it, it takes know. a lot longer Some to hit the, the pussy than it does the mouth. You Listen, know what I mean? Yeah. But cotton vagina is a thing. Yeah. And then once it kicks in, it's just nothing but friction. You get really? groans afterwards if you keep going. It's not a good look. Smoke is not locking up on you. Yeah. When a girl starts doing the, the I don't have teeth thing, old people do that. Yeah, yeah. It's time to stop Cotton fucking shit. Give a break, so, give a G2 I don't like it. I'm, I think it's overrated to like smoke weed and then have sex. Like, I think you think it's, it's overrated? I, mean, yeah, I smoke yeah, weed. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no during sex. So. Edibles. That too. That edibles, too. the body buzz. I'll take a fucking edible buzz. and half a Viagra sometimes. I don't even That's need the Viagra. Anything oh. but weed. If it's someone new, to just fucking Rock ruin oh, oh, them. Oh, pussy, man. Yeah. Ruin <laughs> I don't think downers for sex. Not for me. I not like for me, guy. personally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to say, when he said edible, I was like, That's a little depressing. But yeah, I, like I was like, That's a lot. Yeah, no, no, no. no, no, no. We all got demons. Edible. We're comedians. That body high, son, that, yo, that, yo, you come, it's different. Yes. All right, all right. It's, it's yo, I've made uh, shrooms. I'm not edible. I've made noises I've never made before. No, JJ Lieberman, plug. Uh, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, I'm Jacksonville doing. I forget the uh, Jacksonville on Wednesday, the 14th, and then the 15th Miami Improv, and then at the end of the month, I do a monthly dirty comedy show at Brooklyn Comedy Club. Let's go, social in Williamsburg. Uh, JJ Lieberman comedy and uh, JJ Lieberman on YouTube. I only use Instagram and YouTube. Hell yeah. 
Darrell? Okay, okay, hold on, I gotta get it out. Let's All right, so go. this Sunday we will be at One Mic, uh, 1912 Decatur Street, Brooklyn. Uh, that's this Sunday. On, uh, is that Marty? Is that, is that, uh, that's my show. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah, gonna be yeah, there. UB. I'm gonna be there. All right, yeah, so Miles says it's fun. September 18th, Joke Deal is in Merrick Boulevard. Let's go. All right, uh, we have da 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 da. September 30th, almost 3K. This is, uh, a show with this guy, Andre, yeah. we got going on. Uh, and, uh, Thursday, September 15th, I'm out with my man Wayne in Brooklyn. And let's not forget October 8th, uh, Who Gave Him a Mic 3, produced by yours truly and this guy over here, yes, Doped sir. Up Comedy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we got a lot going on. My Instagram is at Darrell Myers. Andre? Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm, we got the Doped Up Comedy show. Uh, I'm headlining um, Stand Up New York. Okay. Uh, the 28th September. My show the 30th. I'm doing my special at Triad Theater, um, 9.30. I'm That's dope, sick, team, man. man. That's sick. Appreciate you, bro. Dude, right he has there, a man. good concept, too. Can we say? Can we talk about that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, okay. man. Um, it's going um, to be called Duck on the Pond. All right? Um, I call it that because I feel like it's a perfect alliteration of me and how my mind works. On the surface, I look cool as hell, but underneath it all, it's just like... It's Constantly wins. Yeah, you're a comic, working, man. <laughs> yeah. so, I feel like that was just... That's where I want to go with it, man. So, yeah, man, come check me, man. That's October 14th, man. Try it theater. Uh, my name is Kevin Sanchez. You know this. ITS Kev Sanchez on Instagram and Twitter. Please like, follow, and subscribe to Doped Up, uh, the Sunday Morning Smoke Show. And every Friday and Saturday, Doped Up Comedy Club. Shows that start at motherfucking 9.30, seating at 9.00. We got Mongul and Oxtail every other Thursday. Ooh. Um, it's going to be... You want to do it? Last Thursday. Okay, fine. Last Thursday of the month, Mongo will knock out. And we're going to have Mongo will knock out in Brooklyn. That's to come. It's going to be crazy. We got to get all you guys. guys. I would love a lineup of y'all three. What is it? Back oh, to back to back. Pocket, Mongo will knock out is a comedy show. Me. Que lo que, papi. Uh, don't know already. Is a com- <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, eh? Yes, don't know already. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's a comedy show in Harlem. Me and DC do. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Not, uh, you, you've probably been there before. You should, you got. No, I've never been up to. Oh, I've, the only place I've ever gone up to is One Ninth Third and Audubon when I would work out with my Dominican buddies Let's at George go. Washington High School. That's one yeah, of. Uh, yeah, we're in the Heights, baby. Yeah. Uh, um. So yeah, we do a show at, in One Forty Fifth and Saint Nick at mm-hmm. uh, Not So Apollo. And it's dope. It's this little cafe. Sugar Hill Cafe. It's, a little, it's Sugar Hill Cafe. It's a little kill box. So mm-hmm. really? Yeah, we fill out that room. Barking people in. That's well, actually where I, I, I met know. this guy. I met him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's true. Wow. I keep did you? Yeah. Did you pull? Did you pull up there? Yeah, yeah. You I just asked me to talk. Okay, yeah, yeah. I pulled yeah. up with Leo. I remember? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah. I remember DC? that. Plug. Um, follow me on Instagram at DC Does It. Um, and that's literally it. I'm not on social media like that. But like he said, Doped Up Comedy Club every Friday and Saturday, 9 p.m. Uh, Mongo and Oxtel as well. We're moving it to Thursday. Um, we might keep a Friday show, but we might be doing Tuesday and Thursday in the upcoming future. So maybe stay tuned for that. And we're going to be in, I think, is it Philly or Connecticut next month? October 6th? Oh, shit, I got a couple. Somewhere things. in the ass crack of Connecticut. Um, we'll be there August, uh, October 6th. We'll we're doing the brewery. Know. We'll put it up. No, yeah. no social media. You must got a girl. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't have a girl. I'm actually single right now. But um, no, nah, I'm just like Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> so I can't post you. I ain't posting me. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had a girl to post, honestly. <laughs> Niggas on new girl on social media just to not post that one chick. Yo, said, you so fuck I, it. Fuck it. None of us got I had a girl one time. She, she I've done kill that. switch. I had a girl one time That's post a, a picture of me and tag me. And I was like, you thought. You thought. <laughs> you thought you were going to cut me? Her. You thought you were going to I, 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 I put it up and yeah. I put mad gifts over her face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, was she big mad, bro? Yeah, was yeah, she yeah. big yeah. mad? Yeah, she mad. Don't mad. Fucked her in the butt later. <laughs> I don't know what anything these guys are talking about. You know, faithful to my girl. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, hey man. He's on it. He's on it. Black Hell 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 baby. Yo, yes, like, sir. Yo, I don't know why 52 minutes in, you're like, I'm faithful. And then, like, in the first 10 minutes, you were like, I openly cheat on my girl. Huh? Wait, wait. <laughs> Is that what I said? It's an open relationship. He said that was a joke. In, right? Oh, yeah, that was a bit. That was a comedian. That was, yeah. Yeah, 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 that was a comedian. That was a comedian. Dude, stop. This girl kill him. She be For pulling, real? Yeah. She wild? Nah, nah, nah. She be chill. Wait, she curvy or something? 
No, no, no. American black. American black. American okay. black. She wears Absolutely. she wears she the um um the, the Erica Badu head wraps and stuff, so Ooh. you know she don't be playing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know she don't be spiritual. <laughs> she be looking real You soulful. know the first time I really saw Erica Badu was in that video where she got butt ass naked. Bruh. That's uh, what uh, we all saw. That was the uh, first time we all I've, saw. I've listened her, to Erica yeah. Badu. Yeah. yeah. Never really did not know cable yeah, my room. Up like that. She was big in the nineties, man. I I was a kid. I was no, but that was like my era. Yeah. No, no, she's a Erica Badu. Canada? No, but she had that what? one song that was uh, this thing is unbelievable, bro. Yeah, is she from Canada? What is wrong? But let me with say you, this. Bro? Oh, so he just I, said, "Is Erica Badu from Canada?" Yeah, I just want to take every great artist. Huh? I, I, I blocked that out. <laughs> my, my okay, all right. I just want to, just want to claim them all. <laughs> I I never been to Canada, but um, this Canadian chick slid in my DMs. Right? Yeah, they're usually cute. Yeah. She was very, she was very pretty. Canadian, 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 Canadian chick. Her name was Gigi. Shout out Gigi, okay, right? Okay, Gigi. Oh. But I will say, <laughs> like you said, the culture is different out there. Just so like it is man. New York. New York's a bubble, all that, right? She was like, she was like, um, yeah, man, I'm going over to this thing over here, pandemic. Yeah, da, da, da. no. Way. And I was like, bitch, are you trying? To right now? There, there's, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's like, like dog. <laughs> there you are, played in my face. You, right? you, know, you know, it started off. You with don't, don't hear dog, Drizzy. No, it's an <laughs> actual <laughs> thing. Like white people I, will talk like that, like the I Scarborough, like it's a it's Scarborough a suburb shit, yeah, Scarborough yeah, yeah, yeah. accent. Yeah, it's like yeah. I have my one of my buddies who is literally. We're talking about him yesterday um, with Usama and my other buddy Che, who just moved down here. Who's have you met Che? No, I don't think so. Oh, he's like proper, proper famous. He blew up on TikTok. Ryan Che? Oh, he did che a show. He did a show. Yes, yeah. he's doing your show. And we're talking about this one guy who's up in Toronto. He's a white guy. But you have never seen... He's kind of got what Gary Owens has. Mm. A white guy that will kill as hard as anybody in an all-brown, all-black room. Mm -hmm. Just nice. And just a tremendous comic. And one of his things is doing the Scarborough act. Mm -hmm. Like, he'll do that. But he'll like do the whole thing right. Well, you know, big ups, fam. Like, you know, yes. we're really out here, you know. How did you know that? From, how yeah. did you know that? I just listened to a lot of rap and I love the culture of, you know, Toronto. <laughs> That's like ups. a huge thing up yeah, there. Yeah. It's very hard it's to not come a out joke here team. to do that. Cause like me, like a lot of New Yorkers are ignorant to yeah. things Those outside. We live in our York. bubble. Yeah. So for you to come to New oh, York being yeah, yeah. white, doing uh, the accent shit, we think you playing. Son. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. so <laughs> for us to not only yeah. hear your jokes, but to accept that that's who you really are, you gotta, you gotta be good. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. gotta be good, good bro. Yeah. You actually you might do, get fucked up. Only you Chet have Hanks to see this shit. one one guy uh, though. Only Chet Hanks gets away with that shit. Chet, Chet Hanks, yeah. yeah. You mean you mean he's doing a little patois. Well, he doesn't get away with anything. It's not the worst. Chet Hanks was poor. And not make him, and didn't have his daddy's money. Yeah, I was yeah. Say. that's why. If he was literally why, not yeah, Tom Hanks' son, personally, say, personally, what? personally, personally, if I was Chet Hanks, I would talk with a Jamaican accent. I'm, my fucking father's Tom Hanks. Fuck you. Yeah, what, what'd you say? Right, he's yeah. on every stained glass window and and every Catholic <laughs> yeah, yeah, church. Yeah, yeah, he do look like <laughs> <laughs> he do look like Jesus. White Jesus. Right, yeah, he like Jesus. <laughs> Chet Hanks. Yeah, he's wild. He but Brad like Pitt Jesus. had the worst Jamaican accent in a movie. You ever seen that movie where he played Death? Nah, he does a Jamaican accent. He in played movie. death. He yeah, was deaf. He plays the the, the personification, the of embodiment death. of death. I, I know yeah, exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, it was, a, and he does this Jamaican accent in the movie. And I know it's only because he was Brad Pitt that the director was like, "Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Great, <laughs> nailed it." What was he doing Jamaican? I I don't even know. He just I guess. He thought he could do it. He likes Bob Marley. I know that's like a thing about him, but he did a Jamaican they accent in the like movie where he's in the hospital. They don't even know what Bob Marley is really about. White man being a personification of death, I can get that. <laughs> but the Jamaican accent, ah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you can't have the yin without the gang, baby. Well, now, now it wouldn't fly. Like, So this was something I was ranting about a couple weeks ago that Jamie Foxx didn't release that new movie he has because of, of Robert Downey Jr. Do, playing a Mexican. Yeah, and him playing really? a white person too. Yeah, person. Wait, Jamie Foxx played a white person. Yeah, he's playing. He's a white person. Dude, you That's know that movie's gonna weekend. be a because good. because Robert Downey Jr. was fucking incredible, incredible, and dropping down incredible. Oh yeah, wait, can, can we see? Y'all want to see this real quick? Yes. Nat's so on it. No, mama. This accent we'll is weird as shit. I'm going to die. Her accent's fake too. It's just a man. What's up here? Bad spirit. She just lost fever. She don't. Oh, they got a build up for this shit. He's still in the Watch. Orbia. Orbia. Rotted. Ha ha. I forgot he said that. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What you is then? <laughs> I from that next place. Does. Are you in here to take us? Like you're the bus driver to there? No, man. I on holiday. <laughs> This is like watching my first club set from 10 years ago. It's so cringy. Yeah. Did he talk like that the whole movie? Or no, just no. She's just Jamaican. Just no. Bad 
Brad Pitt's the goat. <laughs> I mean, they could come after him right now, and there'd this be is... like a couple. Make it go in. <laughs> he keeps going. The lady make it die. Make no, 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 pause, pause it, pause he it, pause it. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Two things, yeah. two things, two things, right? His eyes are really blue one, in that frame. Yeah. The, one, <laughs> the greatest Handsome actor in this shit. scene is the lady for taking his ass seriously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Number two, when he stepped up, can we go back? When he stepped up to her, did this nigga glide? <laughs> Probably. Was he on wheels? Because he's, he's deaf and she's he's about deaf. to die, this Jamaican lady. Uh, so he's okay. talking to her as her. Bro, he, he moves like a yeah. specter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. He's I need little, context. Yeah. Look how blue his make eyes are talking with his accent. Not the lady make it die. Not the lady let the lady. Not this being. His Ari wasn't bad. This being go true and true. Make it go in. I can't, sister. I can, mister. <laughs> Yeah, sister. Sister. I can't, sister. You can't. Let me do that next, please. It's not your time, no. Look <laughs> at time. You can't fool with the way things got to be. Look at this nigga's eyes. All right, let's Yo, cut uh, it before we get copyrighted. Yeah. Isn't he you guys got to watch. You had a whole bro. multiple lifetimes of practice at Yeah, accent. bro. So many people have never are aware of this like scene of this movie, <laughs> but Brad Pitt doing a Jamaican accent, it sent me when I was watching this shit, bro. How, how, do you remember him. this? Yeah, yeah, like, I watched this movie like three, four years ago. Wow. Yeah, yeah, just like three or four years ago. And I remember, I like I like fucking movies and shit. Yeah, I want to be an actor. But like, I would, I would just, when it got to that scene, I because I'm Jamaican, so I paused it and I kept rewinding it. I was like, did they put the camera on him? And the first word that came out of Brad Pitt's mouth was, <laughs> Rotten. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you know how Jamaican you got to be to even know that and say that, By bro? the way, Toronto has some of the best Jerk food in oh yeah the, the, the Caribbean culture is heavy out there the War. influence out there is dude very I heavy. went I to, to the Crown Heights and see if, if it matches up dude because there's so some good Caribbean I food went out to there. a swingers resort in Negril a nudist swingers Negril resort uh, we went to hedonism <laughs> yeah. and the food there and this is like one of the top resorts was not even as good Negril as, Jamaica yeah oh, really they have a swingers resort there. hedonism is a real thing Hed yeah. he hedonisms uh, so they'll have like oh, yeah. I'm sorry I'm, I'm, I don't know what hell. hedonism I have family yeah, you, you don't go to church that's and this thing is a hedonism Bro, hell, that's that's not, not it's a nudist swingers <laughs> resort so wait, what, what, what does hedonism anal no, it's a new to swingers resort. He, hedonism is I mean, basically saying yes to every desire. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so the hedonistic I'm, lifestyle, you just you just do. Your DV is just naked. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, but there's an actual that. resort. There's an actual resort where it's people go. Like you'll have the Seven Mile Beach. Yeah. I got a free week there to do comedy and go with my ex, who it's was like a on the boys. Yeah, yeah. It's it, but it wasn't that great. After after two days, I'm like, ah, uh, it's a lot know. of old people, isn't it? A lot of old Always people. A lot of old rich. Yeah. Republican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hypocrites. Of course, they like to fuck. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, they, they gay like as hell. Fuck. Gay. That's mad right. orgy. Yo, both yeah, yeah, sides yeah. are mad gay. That's what they do on Tuesdays. Yeah. Dude, it's true. Orgy. No, but 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 the, at least the the Democrat side is like, yeah, all for rights and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, for the most yeah, part, yeah. at least on TV, the Republicans are the one demonizing. Yeah, they shit, hate that, and then they have orgies on Tuesday. Yeah. Well, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, again, yeah. but they all they everyone behind the scenes they all everyone has orgies. Rich, poor. Broke people, like there's everybody. Ah, yeah, yeah. There are people that got busted lifted, in bro. Queens. They're having orgies in Queens during the pandemic. Like, there's a club that got busted for it. Oh, there's, there's, that was only because clubs. it was a pandemic. If it wasn't there's, a I don't pandemic, think it's only you because have orgies. orgies. I think the word orgy. Uh, <laughs> what's wrong uh, with having an orgy? Like, what's what law are you breaking? <laughs> orgies are representation of class and wealth. <laughs> I don't when think broke, broke people are fucking, it's just broke people fucking. Toronto has a bunch of the clubs. They have adult clubs where they have bathhouses. Here, I think they used to have bathhouses. Bath and then bath Toronto has European. actual, like, sex clubs. The rubbing tags? Toronto? Yeah. Uh, sex clubs? You yeah. can just fuck at Swinger the club? clubs. Yep. Yep. Yeah. See, I know in New York City, New York you City need... You in, in New York City, like, in order for people to dance, you need a license. Right? That's true. Like Strippers, you, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. No, 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 no. I'm talking about if you're at a bar... Right, I, went, I remember one time, a long time ago, ten years ago. I'm dancing with this girl at a bar on a pool table, like next to on a pool table, basically. Mm -hmm. And this, the, the security guard comes up and goes, "You guys got to stop dancing." Right? I said, "What? This is music? We dancing? What's wrong?" She, he was like, "We don't have the license for you to dance." Oh, really? Yeah. Dance floor, to have I said, dance floor. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, 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 you're like right. You're right. I've, yeah. I've been America in bars. America is charging like for everything. Well, yeah. Toronto too. Like I, I, I was a stripper in Toronto for a few years, for one year. 
and you have to get a license. He's just a wild. I love that every time they even say something. But, 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 but how crazy is it? Wild life. So <laughs> how crazy you you get in? A, I'm in I'm in line to get a license for my stri to be a stripper, and I'm like beside a cab driver who's trying to get his license <laughs> to drive cabs. And I'm like, yeah, you know. He's trying to pay off his medallion. Dick, nigga, what you about to do? <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, you're trying to get your medallion too, right? <laughs> Literally, license to swing your dick. That's crazy. But yeah, yeah, that was. Uh, Dude, I wow. forget you used to. Used I don't to even really talk about that. You don't. Then we don't have traumatic experience. No, no, not a, no, nothing. I talk about this everything. This guy's like Channing Tatum. I, I just don't find, um, I just don't find that too interesting right now. Like, there's nothing. Yeah, men stripping isn't interesting. No, nah, it's not. It's not a thing that. Yeah. Like, there's uh, one. It's not believable when you look at me now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is Twenty years ago. No, no, it's believable, but, bro. But two. But. <laughs> But two, it's one of those things that you're like, oh, how do you make so, it a bit? Oh, you know, the only one who I've ever seen execute a great bit was Aaron Berg. Facts. He, he has that one bit um, he did it's on good. Ari Shafir's, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is just a fucking brilliant this can't bit. can't be happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His, that bit, I the first time I ever saw it was in a comedy club was December 2012. I saw Aaron Berg do that bit, and I started comedy a week after watching him do comedy. That's I was great. so fucking in because i i want to do one it of my favorites man oh one of my favorites what is it bit about him stripping or yeah yeah him oh, being okay. a stripper they, and I didn't know getting hired him and a black guy yeah it's very yeah, funny yeah, it's okay. hilarious. but i'm watching this guy do comedy in a uh a yuck yucks in downtown toronto and I, I wanted to do comedy for about two three months and everything i always wanted to do in comedy this guy was doing it at such a high level Effortless. and Dude. i've never laughed like i've laughed it's like the first time you get high Effortless. Yeah. the You're first like, time i saw yes. berg i i was like i couldn't believe how fast his mind was working oh he's a machine right? Cause he's like bah, 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 hitting everybody in the room and everybody getting it mm -hmm. it's not like he's like looking for specific people it's like he knows a little bit about everybody and he's hitting you with it's it, it's it's scary because like did you did you scope this out when you walked in or did you see he's this the while he was on huh? stage, bro? No, I met I him at yeah. I met. Oh, go ahead. What were you gonna say? I I think so. When I first saw him, because he went through like he was doing a lot of crowd work, then he goes back to bits. Okay. I watched him do this fucking act, man, and it was it, it was again. It was like that Patrice esque where you're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Mm -hmm. It's so good. Cause he was do he opened with a bit. It's like legendary. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was like I've never every time. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna say the headliner's name is American headliner who went on after him, who's who proper big time mm. could not follow his That's, twenty minutes. Yeah, Kevin it, James. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, why do you even see say that? that yo? I can see that. But hey, yo, leave that king of queens alone. Bro. But I was crying, and I've, I've never, I was never a fan of comedy until I got into comedy, and then I, I, you become enlightened from mm -hmm. everything. But when I watched that act, and it was like there was one point he did a first bit, then he did a second bit, and then he went into uh, the crowd just, for, and I couldn't believe it was like. Now I've seen him a lot, and it, and I I so tell you know, I, yeah yeah, yeah I, I mean I know what he does, but when I see that live for the first time, and that's why the thing it's like, uh, I, I honestly don't know how he's not famous. He is. I said the same thing. Unbelievable. In time, yeah, a, a lot time of, what, a lot of the funny people are like that. Like, he, he but like that I have never, and I've been to, I've seen so many people live. I have seen uh, on on a handful people n uh, people kill at that level, mm. like maybe on five, just like ba ba ba. I was I was crying. One of those nights. I was yeah. literally crying. Magic. He's a magic. Yeah, yeah, it was magic. I met him at, I met him at Greenwich. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't want to trigger no experience. Got, got, <laughs> got hot and heavy under that. Yeah. But no, I I, I really love. Um, and it's a guy who's like I I tour with a guy, and I was talking to him on Monday about it. It's like it's it's not that you could ever do anything for my career. I just love your. There's very it's few crap. people like today. That are yes, mm -hmm. but that are truly, truly um, just fearless, and like you talk about Louis and Tim I Dillon, think, no, but I'm, I'm talking and no, Patrice. He's, he's a beast. He's no, he's, he's legitimately fearless. a beast. He really is. I met him at Greenwich. He was headlining the show I was doing, and I went up, had a great set, and I watched this guy just go up and just murder. And then is probably one of the coolest dudes I ever met in just comedy. He's a really dope dude, just off stage. It's, yeah, it's dope when you really come cool across dude, a comedian he's, and they go there. And he's a fan of comedy. You could tell by the type of comics he likes. He's very, very particular with the comics he fucks with. But yeah, I, I'm a fan of how his mind works, man. Who are you talking it's about? Different. Aaron Burke. Aaron Burke, okay. Yeah. See, I hate like ball washing people. 
Paul Washer. Is is no, no, because no, but, Paul uh, but this is my only, uh, only in comedy do we care. By the way, every other fucking art they love ball washing. Oh, I love, I yeah. love, but that's what I'm saying. People bust your balls for being a ball, but I I'm hate like that. But I love, I love comedy so much. I'm a fan of comedy. Can I, I, also, love, I also love. All I'm gonna say yeah. is if somebody say I'm a ball washer, say it to my face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paul, I don't like yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah. Say you a dick I'm not gonna rider. do yeah, that. Ball yeah. washers. You crazy. can give a compliment and you can admire somebody's work I'm without being a dick rider. A lot of comedians you know I mean? are too insecure, bro. Yeah. Just too yeah. insecure to give it up. Too insecure to say someone's funny. There's a weird thing in comedy. Get some security. It's annoying. It is really annoying. There's a weird hate in comedy which I don't get. I don't. I really don't get it. Especially. We talk about especially talk about when you can blow up and you, you you're not, you're not relying on the industry mm -hmm. you don't need the industry and there's enough for everyone and it's all on the table they have a scarcity too. mindset though a lot of people yeah. instead of like oh there's enough for everybody or everybody's lane is different it's just like oh like it, this person is doing his thing but fuck him i don't you know what i mean it's the insecurity aspect it's, it's like so insecure, it's like bro. it's like a person going on stage it's like a person seeing you go on stage watching you kill and then them not kill and then them Somehow make it be about what you did on stage, or happy that you bombed. Yes, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. anti sweat. It's, it's crazy. Like it's, I don't know why comics Toxic. are in this place where they like feel like what another comic is doing is affecting you as a comic. They do. Once you get out, once you get out that mindset, you free yourself as yeah, a comic. It's a do. reflection of how you feel about your own self 100%. and how you feel about your work. Because you're scared. You, you, it, this is this is what you realize being a confident person, and I'm sure you guys can agree, is that when you are confident in your work and you know what Excellent. you're doing, you're not worried about somebody else because this is my pocket, mm -hmm. and my pocket doesn't affect yours. Yours doesn't affect mine. So it's, if we know it's like that, the, it's like, what's what, the issue? It's like what the great Jay Z said: "What you eat don't make me shit." It, it, that's that's so right. What you eat don't make me shit. It's, bro. it's like when everyone down. was getting mad about oh, Ti doing. Big th rooms, it, it, yeah. He's, no, bro, he's that too, shit was mad he's too annoying. early in comedy to be, but it's just like he's not taking anything from you. You Why don't sell tickets. You wasn't gonna you, be on that, but state. you're not even in the clubs. <laughs> like, so <laughs> fuck out. You know what I mean? I think, I think like, more so. I think more so from a purist standpoint, which is where comics are mad. Like it's, it's just because you. But understand. again, those guys aren't even a lot of people who are yes. again a lot of people that who love Patrice, and then they'll see like. Not, I'm not reflecting this on me. They'll see me walk a room and they're like, oh, you can't do it. I'm like, but then don't say you really love Patrice because for him to get to where he was at, you have to do it. Yeah. You have to do it. He had to do it a certain way. Yeah. So, Oh, they love you after they hate you. Yes. Bro, I mean, they so love crazy. you. I mean, you don't know, say the worst about well, comics. They're so flip floppy. Like, it, it, you could, someone would feel like that about you, not want to give it up, not never say what's up, whatever. You start getting certain things. Motherfuckers start looking like they want to say something to you oh, and all yeah, this. And it's like, yo, yo, that shit is so the, whack, the bro. The night, the night at the stand. Yeah. The night no. at the stand when Andre went and he killed, right? Yeah, yeah. That night, we was uh, we was hanging out before the set. We was hanging out at the bar. And you know you know when you see another comedian, even if you never met him, you know, you got to look, whatever. You say, coming. what's up? Yeah. yeah, what up? So I'm at the bar. I see a dude coming by. Name I, forgot, name. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't. I don't uh, doubt that you would have no. said his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, definitely no, would. I would have said it. So he he sees me and I see him and I'm like, yo, we lock eyes, right? And I'm like, yo, what up? And he just gives me like this fake like, mm, yeah. bro, that shit happened to me last mean, night. At <laughs> bro, oh, yeah, go ahead. So then, um, you know, Jared Waters. Yeah. yeah, right. Jared Waters comes in. He comes in with the dude and he's like, yo, he's like, oh, Darrell, what up, son? He's like, yo, so and so. I wish I remember his name. He was like, this is this is Darrell and the guy's the same dude. He's like, mm -hmm. yeah, yo, what up, son? He's like, okay. So you're like, yo, he and I'm seeing him like this, like he dabbed me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck out of here, bro. That yeah, shit, I hate that. Well, shit, some, bro. some people though, I, I was having a rough night last night, so you know, I might have blown a guy off, and I was, you know, yeah, so I, I can consistently though. So, yeah, yeah, that's right. that's yeah, a problem. It's, a, it's, yeah. a that's where you, it's just you just know like this. I won't say his name. Um, I won't. <laughs> he had to convince himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. tell us after the pod. It's fine. Like, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, something in the back Go of his head. Yeah. Go ahead. But like. He's that way with me, like just very, very insecure by himself, and just it's everybody, bro. everybody always shows love except this, this one dude. And it's like, it's like for me, I'm not really in the comedy for competition, but mm -hmm. for like guys like that, like I want to eat you alive on stage now. I don't you even mind mean? competing with people I like. You know That's saying? I'm here for the competitive I, exactly. nature of it. I'm here to bust people, bust that, my it's chops. Just that, it's just that weird energy. Is yeah. it malice behind it? Exactly. What is malice like, behind it? I rather you tell. I rather you tell me you're not a fan of me. Something, <laughs> but there's it's really no. In my there's face. no really. There's no reason though. Yeah, I mean, that there really is no reason. <laughs> there really, it's it's again. Uh, 
It's just an insecurity thing. It is. It's so and, it's, and it's crazy. It's never it's never the real funny guys. Like I, Big J came. He did Doped Up Comedy Club last weekend. Cool I heard dude. he murdered yeah, he did. him. And murdered. it was Ian yeah. Financed and him. No, it was Derek no. Gaines. Der- it was Ian Financed, Me Derek, then him. Oh shit! And that both of them murdered, bro. I mean, oh, you got to follow that? Yeah, I that's have to follow uh, Derek oh, Gaines. I think oh, that's oh, amazing. Oh, did he? Did he hold his own? No, I. That's you know, DC I did my. I was on the. Right you know, I did my. People were like, "Yo, bro, you really held your own, bro." Like, no, it is. I did. I got some licks, and people were like, "Yo, bro, you went between two people absolutely murdered pros, and they were like, you did your thing, bro. You did your thing. That's how you get very good, man. And it's much better that way. I like doing really, really strong. Yeah, there's one guy. Way better. But, but, I but what I was gonna say, just okay, a, yeah. uh, fucking Big J was the kindest. Stood uh-huh. there, chilled with everybody, chilled with some of the fucking people that were there to see him. Was kind it's, to everybody, chill, bro. He's a, he- like, a headliner, yeah, but, but not like a headliner isn't like he headlines. He's like a headliner. You know yeah. what I mean? But it's not. It's not um, one thing. I remember I had a comedian. He said um, that he has to get out of a competitive mindset, and I was like, Nah, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But then he was like, Nah, like it's bad. Like I have. Um, if Lorne Michael is in the room, you know, SNL or whatever, mm-hmm. and there's a comedian on stage killing it, I won't laugh because then Lorne will see that he's funny and then that guy might get the spot that I want. Hey, yo, when I heard crazy. that, it's insane. When right? I heard that, I was like, mm-hmm. or, or maybe if you're secure on what you have, you uh-huh. know that nobody can take from you what's yours. Right. And yeah. you can't take what somebody else's. So if that's the case, what somebody has might just belong to yeah. them. You know what I mean? So. Why don't why don't you attack it like that? He's like, oh, you know, that's a good. Bro, most, they, most that's 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 a that. that's that's little dick I'm energy. You, I'm telling and you, bro. I don't have patience for it's all over comedy of my life. It's all over comedy. No bro. little dick energy, bro. Even on, I'm an actor, bro. Even on set, you have the the principal actors that are known people. Oh, they don't yeah. fuck with extras. They don't talk to nobody. I used to, unless it's cast and crew. I don't hang out with that. And then I, you got I, your principals who are like, yo, what up, son? Oh, what, what you about? Yeah, oh, you from out here? It's a difference of level, bro. You know what I mean? It's a mental mindset. Note to oh, so that makes, like that, that, like, bro, I've booked people. Take f- names and numbers. Yep, because I've those booked- are the type of people that when you, it's certain people you work at certain clubs, workers, like, they don't talk to you unless you're a regular comic there. And, and then yeah, unless you're you get, a pro. Let's say no, you're a pro. And you getting on stage. See, those type of people, when, you, when, I'm, when you're at that point, you can't talk to me. Yeah. I, I don't deal with people who don't treat everybody but like. I, I, right, and I talk to people bro. on my level. So if I'm talking to you, you don't want, you know what I mean? See, don't 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 make it till oh you got to another level. Now I want to talk to you or yeah, something like I that. You know I what I mean? Deal with people like that, bro. That shit is whack, bro. I, I've 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 booked people for shows. I've seen them after like a couple weeks later, a week later. These motherfuckers, it's like they're walking through like wallpaper. Like everyone is just All wallpaper or something. Like, and it's just like it's like you know some people aren't successful for the long in comedy because of their presence off stage. It's not even the shit they do. It's you off stage is what's fucking. Somebody told about. me the people you see on the way up are the same ones you see on your way down. Yeah. Maybe they need to drag you up, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His name was and Lou. how they react to you is based off of how you treated them on your way up, bro. No, his name is Louis C.K. He's and doing you know very well again. So yeah, yeah. 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 It makes you understand why some people get to a certain Change point the and then they get weird with be people. Because they dealt with so much of that before they got to where they are. So now it's just like, bro, I'm not trying. I'm not even trying to talk to you. I do comedy. I slip in the green room or something like that, or I leave immediately because I'm not trying to talk to anybody. And it's just like, oh, I get it. But that's me. why I fuck with dudes like this. You know yeah. What I mean? Because when you have a, 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 a personality that takes over the room, a personality mm-hmm. where people look or whatever, it's going to draw one of two reactions. Either somebody's going to really fuck with that because mm-hmm. they have the same bop or, or they admire that or they're going to hate you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So if you learned anything, Mm-hmm. From this hour of six. Oh yeah, minutes. we went into like inside baseball. Really? Yeah. 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 No, li- no little dick energy. No little dick energy. Yeah. Boom. Stop being socially <gasps> retarded. We don't like that. We, <laughs> Dylan Men's don't like that. Huh? Does Dylan like to go to inside baseball? I usually I, it we stop it. But today, yeah. Get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Today it was. You know. I can, uh, people hate that uh, the guys who I tour with because yeah. I'll really get into. I could go for hours and oh, like, yeah. okay, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> getting some you really passionate and care about. Yeah, you really get yeah. to, you really yeah. get the work. But also, it's nice to know other people think about this shit too. You know what I mean? It's a real thing you're dealing with, and it's like it makes you feel like you're not fucking crazy right right oh right. yeah i love i love the um uh i i'd re- me personally like uh the guy who i go on the road a lot with ryan long he loves to drink have mm-hmm. a good time yeah, and there's there's one time over the course of a weekend or over the course of like next week we're going away one of the days we'll just get into like this philosophical conversation about comedy and it doesn't have it but it's really like fucking incredible because yeah. he's he's really a, a, that was a genius yeah, yeah. I, I think he's one of the most not just because he's my friend it's just very few people put out that kind of body of work 
Um, but I could I could talk about this with that. I'd rather go to a diner after the comedy show than hang exactly. out and drink at the bar and chase I agree. Yeah, chase yeah. ass. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And just talk comedy. I but the, but as communicative as comedians are, they're not. Yes. They're not off stage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Off stage, off stage, yeah. off stage yeah. they are not. You're like, oh, like you can only do this. Don't do too much off stage. But no, yeah. These 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 kind of conversations are necessary, man, because like a lot of comedians don't feel that there's enough camaraderie to even open up. Let me ask you. I'm gonna ask you guys three. These, uh, I'm gonna ask you three. Yeah, I gotta get back to Brooklyn, and then sure. we gotta fucking wrap this shit up. I bet there's something y'all motherfucking learn while in this motherfucking journey that you would like to share to motherfuckers who are gonna be listening. To a lot of young comics listening to this. Shit. Oh, really? A lot oh, of young cool. comics listening to this mm-hmm. shit. So, any any fucking any fucking advice you'll give these motherfuckers right now? Don't take none of this shit personal. Yeah, I mean, it sounded like we, all we did was take shit personal. No, no, no. <laughs> But it's you, you, no, no, you, it's you real. highlighted the shit that we actually did take personal or understood. You shouldn't have took it personal. Mm. Mm-hmm. So if I could give anybody any advice, don't take this shit personal. It's just perfect and be great at the craft. The only way to get on stage is to be fucking hilarious. Mm. Yeah. Right? That's really it all it. comes down to jokes. It comes stage, down yeah. to being fucking hilarious and being consistent. Don't take this shit personal. I would say um, you have to find your voice, man. Mm -hmm. You got to find your voice and it's going to take time, but you got to see what it is that makes you unique because, you know, we all grew up watching the same people um, and and studying the same things. But if you look at all the people you study, none of them are like one another. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? None of them. Like Chris Rock is not Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle is not Cosby. You know what I mean? Cosby's not Patrice O'Neal. Like they all have their thing that made them that. And if you can find your unique niche, then you could be on that level. You know what I mean? You got to be funny as fuck, but be you, be you. Stop, um, stop ball looking, whatever you uh, say. W- without ball getting watch. too long winded in my my theory of this, um, uh, in 2017 when I first started like headlining, there was like a lot of I got a lot of heat, um, and people would say the guy who founded comedy in Canada w- went on some like thing and said, "Oh, he reminds because he used to bring in Kinnison, okay, and he's like yeah, the first comic that remind me of Kinnison." And that to me was the ultimate compliment. Um, now, like five years later, I- I'm sleeping on it. And not to make it sad, but it's the truth, right? But I'm very happy. I'm sleeping on a floor with no money in Brooklyn and I'm doing club spots. And I to- I've i come, you know, being in my 40s, I've come to the realization, and I'm not always happy with this, but this has to be my truth that if this is all it is, I have to be happy with it because shit. Wow. the five years ago people were telling me I was going to become famous. And then I see I'm in a city like this and I see such great comics who also aren't famous and I'm so far from where they, mm-hmm. they're at. Mm-hmm. That, and I, I, perspective. I, yeah. Yeah. And, and we all have the same delusions, right? It's, mm-hmm. I mean, you're crazy if you're not, maybe it's different, but when I go up in front of 12 people I'm at like a uh, uh, midnight show on a Saturday night. If this is it, this has to be, this has to be good enough. Okay. Or else. So be happy where you at, no matter what. Yeah, because mm-hmm. the the other the other shit, there there's no there's probably a good chance you won't get it. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. So like if that's what you're looking for. And that's what's going to make you happy. If you never get it, you'll never be happy. So you have to be happy with like mm-hmm. doing the 12, 12 a.m. spot in front of 12 people. <laughs> or the 150 and go, spot. And yeah. going home to your flashlight, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That note yeah. Yeah. Dying yeah. Sunday morning smoke show. <laughs> like, subscribe. Thank you guys for coming yes, through. Sir. Thank you for having me, man. This is dope. You, you guys have a good one.